Good morning, everyone. It's 3.45 this morning. Let me just explain everything that really happened. So one last look at our little apartment. Say bye to the first apartment Jane and I ever lived in. We're gonna miss it. It was a good first apartment. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Kate and if you're not, then welcome back and welcome to another video. So today is currently Friday, February 26th and I am currently in a hotel, hence the different setting, but the last clip, or I guess the first clip you saw, was us leaving the apartment last Saturday. So I think that was like February 20th, we had the pod leave, the apartment was empty, we spent like literally all morning cleaning at like 6 a.m. And, and like all of the night before. And so that was the last clip that you saw, it was the empty apartment, which is kind of sad. And then just to catch you guys up on what I've been doing, I spent the weekend in New Hampshire, I spent the, this week in Maine. And so now fast forward, it is now Friday and we are currently in a hotel in Connecticut. Just kind of, we drove here, yeah. We drove here yesterday from Maine just so that we were closer to DC since we have a long trip ahead of us. So that was like a four and a bit hour drive or something. So we got here last night and we worked a full day here and I'll quickly show you guys the apartment or not the apartment, but, <laughs> but the hotel. So. Pretty simple, just a bed, excuse the mess. We've got all my stuff ready for tomorrow. My clothes are out there. And yeah, just a little TV, little microwave coffee maker, and just a little bathroom area. So just like a pretty simple hotel setup, but literally we spent last night in a hotel. We're spending tonight in a hotel. And then Sunday and Monday, we are spending in a hotel as well. So we're really just like staying in a hotel and I just can't wait to be like in our new apartment and eating like home cooked food because we've just been like eating, I don't know, out a lot, which is not good. And I feel like my skin has just been breaking out because of it. So I can't wait to be in the warm weather, in the sun. My skin will be so much better with some vitamin D and just some actual like good home cooked meals. I'm seriously so overeating out. So yeah, anyway, Justin is quickly grabbing a snack. He was like, I need some chips. So he went to the grocery store to grab some food. And yeah, anyway, I'm just kind of introing the vlog. If you guys are new here, I used to live in Connecticut. Now we are moving to Florida, so that's really exciting. This is pretty much gonna be a, like a vlog of our trip down there. I'm super excited. We're getting up tomorrow morning super early. I think at like 4.30, maybe even earlier, because it's gonna be raining like all day. <laughs> so we're gonna be driving from Connecticut to DC. We're gonna probably stop, maybe see some sights in DC, have some good food, and then we're gonna be actually getting on a 17 hour train from DC to Orlando, and then driving to our final destination in Florida from there. So it's like a long trip. So we're pretty much leaving tomorrow morning, super early at like four in the morning, and then we'll finally get to our destination probably Sunday midday, and then we'll be staying in another hotel. So anyway, I thought it was just like a cool thing, so I wanted to just vlog it, because. I mean, when do I get to go on a train with my car? And so yeah, I just kind of thought I would bring you guys along, show you our journey from Connecticut to Florida. It's definitely a long trip and I'll be happy to finally be down there and start our new life. We went and officially dropped off the keys to the apartment today, which was really sad. So we walked around our old neighborhood and was like, oh, like this was our first apartment together. And I don't know, it's a little sad leaving that and leaving our friends and everything, but I mean, we're gonna be still friends with them and like they'll come visit us and stuff like that and they'll, we'll see them at the wedding as well so I don't know lots of things happening this year so I just kind of wanted to enter the vlog and yeah anyway I will see you guys tomorrow bright and early probably at 4 30 in the morning so yeah <laughs> Good morning everyone, it is 3.45 in the morning. We are ready to hit the road. We woke up way earlier than expected. Justin said he didn't sleep at all. He's just inspecting my car real quick before we drive. We're trying to beat the rain, it's supposed to rain all day. Oh, turn it on or shut yeah, it off? Turn it on. Oh. <laughs> I was like, it's not on. That's too funny. Anyway, yeah, just trying to set myself all up. Get the GPS up. 
and get a super good playlist going. So that is what is happening. So leaving earlier than expected. So that's really great. So I will see you guys later in the journey. Wish me luck. See you then. <laughs> walking around looking at all the monuments you can see the Washington monument Washington Memorial monument. What is it? monument that's behind me so yeah I'll catch you guys up later <laughs> everything that really happened. So the last time I vlogged was the end of February. I was kind of showing you guys our move to Florida and of course it's probably been a couple you know days or a couple weeks and you guys are probably wondering like oh you know I thought you said you were gonna vlog your move to Florida and so you probably are wondering like where that content is because I already posted my empty apartment tour and the actual moving in vlog so I didn't want to leave you guys hanging and I wanted to still show the footage anyway because I did record on that day so I didn't record a lot but I wanted to at least share what I did record and then I guess a couple a whole pretty much a week and a little bit later I wanted to just kind of share with you guys like what happened why I kind of stopped vlogging and everything like that the last week or honestly really the last like two weeks maybe two bit weeks have been seriously crazy very hectic and I just have felt not like stressed but I guess I just have a lot going on with unpacking and everything like that so anyway today is March 8th so it really has been a while since I since I ended since I last vlogged but anyway so pretty much what happened was we got up super early we ended up we said we were gonna leave at about 4 or 4 30 a.m. we actually ended up leaving at like 3 30 in the morning so it was super super early and yeah Justin was up at like 3 showering and everything like that and it was just we wanted to get on the road early it was snowing in Connecticut and then we drove all the way through to DC and it was pouring with rain pretty much the entire time I'm not gonna lie I literally I literally cried twice just because driving through New York, like if you guys have driven through New York City, it is hectic. Um, it was like five in the morning when we drove through New York and I, I still cried to put it that way. There was a lot of traffic, the roads were terrible. Um, more, like not con not traffic, but there was a lot of like construction and the roads were just awful and the drivers were just insane. Not to mention it was pouring with rain, it was dark and I literally couldn't see anything. So I remember crying twice and thinking, oh my gosh, like I just want to pull over on the side of the road and I will pay anyone any amount of money to drive my car the rest of the way because I never drive long distances. I know some of you guys probably have driven way longer drives than me, but I am not used to driving long distance. Like the most I normally drive is like 30 minutes. So to drive um, six hours to DC was a lot for me to handle, but I did it. <laughs> so anyway, we got to DC and by then the weather was a little bit better so we walked around but it was kind of sad because um after all the like the riots at the capitol a lot of things were kind of closed down so it had a very like weird feeling to it there was lots of guards everywhere there was out put up some footage but you couldn't even get to the white house and i know i remember the first time i ever went to the white house it was 2008 and i was able to get right up to the gate but these days you can't even get close they've blocked off like so much of it that you can't even see the white house because you're that far away from it they've like barricaded everything i guess for protection but it's kind of sad so i don't know walking around dc was all right we only really had an hour and because things are kind of like further away like you when you walk to one place walk to another and 
you know, by the time that happened, we were like, oh my gosh, we need to get back to the car. So it was kind of a rushed um, DC experience, which I was kind of sad about, but I'm glad it wasn't raining anymore. It was just kind of an overcast day, but I'm still glad we got to kind of stretch our legs and get a good walk in. And so that was really great. So yeah, and then after that, it was pretty much, we drove to Virginia and I took Justin to Nando's, which is a South African restaurant. I know some of you have watched, who watch my videos and who follow me on Instagram, you guys know what Nando's is, but it's a South African restaurant and they have them in Maryland and Virginia and Washington DC. And it's just super good. They do like grilled, flame grilled chicken. So I took Justin there and we had a great lunch and it was really, really nice. And then after that, we drove to the train station, which was in Virginia and had to wait like two hours. Um, we boarded our cars, everything like that. And it was pretty much us and a whole bunch of like old people because I guess a lot of retired people use this to get down to Florida because it's kind of convenient. And then other than that, it was like a, it was a 17 hour train ride. So we left at 4 p.m. We got there at, we got to Orlando at like 9 a.m. the next morning. But I w had every intention of vlogging on the train and I did vlog some of it and I intended to like, recap and like <laughs> talk to you guys about the train experience but because I'd been up and I hadn't really slept in two days both Justin and I felt so sick like I really mean we felt sick like I felt you know when you're so tired that you feel really sick like that's exactly how I felt like I felt awful and then that night I didn't sleep at all I'm sure at some point I went to sleep but I know that like every hour I was like oh, what's the time, what's the time, what's the time? And it just like wasn't, you know, nothing, I don't know, it was just it was just crazy, put it that way. Like every hour I was just up and I felt like I didn't sleep at all because it was, you know, the train was just rocking so much and I think I also was just really excited to get to Florida. So there was a lot of anticipation there. So I really didn't sleep well for like a good two, three days. So I felt absolutely awful. And then the next day, we had to drive another two and a half hours and I remember being so exhausted that I literally slapped myself and was like, you need to focus because the drive from <laughs> the drive from Orlando to um, where we are in Florida, it's just like so flat and I just was so exhausted. It was, it was so bad. We stopped at Chipotle, we got lunch at Chipotle and I got a root beer because I just needed the sugar. I just needed something. I honestly felt like such shit <laughs> um that whole weekend so i just kind of wanted to let you guys know that i still wanted to show you guys the footage but i'm sure from your perspective like you're seeing all the montages and you're seeing like nice music playing in the background and you're thinking oh this looks so fun and like it makes moving look glamorous but let me tell you i like didn't shower i didn't sleep I felt like absolute crap and I just, I need to tell you guys that, that moving is just not glamorous and I'm sure how it's portrayed on YouTube and Instagram and maybe how I made it look, made it look like fun and like an adventure and of course it was fun and it was an adventure but it was also so exhausting and I just felt so sick and then obviously that Tuesday we moved in and I showed you guys the empty apartment tour and the moving vlog and by then I felt so much better so I felt able to vlog but I really just wanted to pick up the camera, explain to you guys what happened and like I still wanted to show you this footage and I want to be able to look back on it but I just wanted to explain everything that happened that weekend and just give you guys some honest like real raw conversation about how I felt that weekend so that's that's everything but yeah anyway I thought I would continue this vlog a little bit more because I'm sure it's going to be a very short vlog um so other than that I am going to show you guys a little bit of my work day. It's not going to be like a full work day vlog, but I figured I would just film a little bit today just to give you guys some more content because I feel, I feel like recently my vlogs have been a little bit shorter and I know personally I love to watch longer vlogs that are like 20 minutes or longer and I know a lot of you do as well. So for that reason, I am also going to show you like a little bit of a day in my life. So with that being said, let me just do a little outfit of the day. Today's a super overcast not so nice day but I mean I can't complain it's literally 70 degrees out so you know it's pretty warm <laughs> so for today's outfit I'm just wearing this white crop top from 
Princess Polly. It's literally this ribbed material. It's so soft and I just absolutely love it. I'm also wearing these Princess Polly shorts that I got in my latest haul. This should already be live and they're kind of nice and long and just kind of baggy and like super comfy. So I just wanted to wear that. And then I'm just wearing my little slippers because you guys know the drill. It's a work from home day and that means that slippers are on pretty much all day. <laughs> So with that being said, I'm gonna log on to work right now and I will tell you guys kind of what I have going on for the day. Okay, so I'm looking at my calendar right now <laughs> and pretty much I don't have like a crazy day full of meetings, which is always really nice. So I have a company-wide meeting at 9.15. That's just really where um, department heads just kind of talk about what's going on in their department and we give our department heads like an update so that the whole... Um, company can kind of know what everyone's working on and then after that I have a Monday check-in with my team so that goes for about 30 minutes and then um, at 11.30 today I have a website check-in so that's for people who are on the website and we really just talk about what we have going on, what needs to be updated, like what are the bugs um, that need to be fixed and just kind of anything to do with the website gets brought up in that. I know I'm making one of the landing pages and that goes live tomorrow. So it's pretty much going to be centered around that landing page that's going live. We still need some images. So I'm waiting on images so I can give it to the developers to really just put in all the content. But other than that, it's almost ready to go. So that's a good thing. And so yeah, other than that, I'm also working on a newsletter. We have our very first newsletter going live this week. Um, it should be going live tomorrow if everything goes well, but that is what I'm doing. It's pretty much all done. I just really need the new logo. So I'm waiting on one of the designers to give me the logo and then a couple images. And other than that, I'm focusing on some list building. We have some campaigns going out. So I have to pretty much get lists together so that we know which audience we're targeting with all these campaigns. And we have a lot of exciting stuff going on this week. We have podcasts that we're gonna be on and webinars going live. So all, a lot of stuff in the making. So a lot of stuff that we've been doing from last month is going live this week, which is really exciting. So. I'm excited to see how that all kind of performs and everything like that. So that's a little bit of an overview of my day. But with that all being said, I'm going to get started on some work and I will see you guys later, probably at the end of my work day, because I think I'm going to be pretty busy today. <laughs> The great thing about living in Florida, it is light out for longer than it is in Connecticut. I absolutely love it. Justin and I normally go to the beach almost every day after work. We don't, it's not really hot enough that we can go and like get a tan, but we normally just go walk the beach. So I'm kind of hoping that he'll want to walk the beach today, even though it's kind of cloudy. It's just so nice to get out and get fresh air. So we like literally make sure that we go for walks like multiple times a day since we're normally stuck inside and just the weather is so nice here. I mean, how could you not want to go out in like great weather? So anyway, now that the work day is done, I had a pretty productive day, which is really good. I got a lot of stuff done and I'm just waiting on a couple things from people, which I always hate. Like I love when it's just me working on things and I don't need to get anything from anyone, but I hate waiting for people to like get stuff to me. I don't know, maybe it's because I'm like impatient, but I'm pretty much just waiting for a couple things from some people. So anyway, yeah, the workday went really well. Um, don't have much to update you on. And <laughs> I don't know, this isn't a very, I'm trying not to make this a super worky vlog, but anyway, I'm glad that the workday is done. I've said that enough times, but I thought I would give you a little update on what the apartment now looks like, because I think in the last video I showed, we'd completely, we completely had different rooms. Like I've redone like everything. So let me, let me show you what I'm talking about. So 
originally when we were moving in, I was talking about how this space that I was in right now, that I'm in right now, was going to be the main room, which it's no longer. It is now the guest room. So you'll notice a couple things from the old apartment. So this is like our old bedding that we used to have. This is actually the old bed that we used to have too. And we have that <laughs> painting up again. So this is what the guest room kind of looks like. It is also my office space and just has some like random um, stuff that really doesn't fit anywhere else. So this is kind of what this room looks like right now. And then nothing really in the guest room bathroom. Like this just is the same. Um, but we have, this has pretty much now become our storage closet. It was gonna be our closet, but it's literally just full of stuff that no longer fits anywhere. This is all I went to clothing. So stuff like that, my wedding dress and my cap and gown are hanging there. And it's also slowly become the linen closet. And then all of this clothing is still Justin's and he has just yet to put it away because he doesn't wanna do it. So anyway, let me show you the rest of the apartment. So everything's kind of the same. Justin's work situation still there. We have the dining table, which was there the last time. Kitchen was clean this morning. It is now a mess. That is forever going to be a battle. It's just so annoying to keep anything clean because we just end up throwing everything on here, but I probably will clean it in a sec because I just hate looking at that. And yeah, so then we have the little lounge area. We had to put the carpet back because it literally wouldn't go anywhere else, but I kind of feel like it closes off the space because it needs, it definitely needs a bigger carpet, but I just don't think we're gonna spend the money and get a new carpet because we're only gonna be here for a year. So I just don't see the point in that. So I think we're just gonna deal with the fact that this carpet makes the room smaller and it's not the best situation for the lounge. Um, but I do love this little TV corner and how it's just in this little nook. I think it's just the cutest thing. And then here is our room. So you guys will be familiar with the bedding. Um, this is actually my old bed from my parents' house. And then we definitely need some wall art. So let me know if you know of any good places to get like pictures. I'm thinking Target because I got my last one from there. But let me know if you know of any good places, obviously Home Goods as well. We have the little dresser in here, the fan. I hate that this sits here, but Justin's been really hot at night, so we've been putting on this box fan. Also just to like drown out the noise, but we are eventually gonna move this and we're gonna put a little round mirror from Target. I just need to actually go and get it, but we did shatter the other one, so we now have to get this one. And then we have the mirror, which I really like because now I can take a cute little outfit of the days and I feel like where it was in the old apartment, I just would, I never used it enough. So I'm glad that this is kind of here and I feel like having a mirror just really opens up the room. And so yeah, we obviously need lamps as well. That's something that I'm working on. Um, I found some ones that I want, so um, I need to get those as well. So we have some updates to do in here. And then I spent the weekend organizing my closet, which I'm pretty happy about. So I have all my shoes down here. I really don't have a lot of like summer shoes. I need to get some more, um, but I do have all my t-shirts here. So they're all like color coordinated from like light to darks. So these are all just t-shirts. And then I just have some hoodies and crewnecks, just my absolute favorite ones that I use all the time. The rest are in storage because being Florida, we're really not gonna use hoodies and stuff that much. And then in here, I have all my dresses, rompers, and sets. So these are all color coordinated again. So we have all of the whites going into the linens and <laughs> the nudes and then into the colors and into the blacks. And then I just have shorts, joggers, and jeans. And then I have a big bucket of all my bikinis. So I probably need a bigger bucket or, or maybe I just need to get rid of some of the bikinis. But yeah, that's pretty much what my closet looks like. I'm a lot happier with it now. And I don't mind, I kind of like this room now because we have the, his and her closet. So I think it's kind of cute that we could walk in. We have the his and her closet and then we have the bathroom. So that is kind of nice. We were at the pool yesterday. So we have some like beach towels hanging up, but yeah, 
Anyway, that's an update on what the apartment now looks like. Now I just need to really do a huge Target trip and get a bunch of like decor items. So I'll probably vlog that if I do that. But I already looked online and a lot of the stuff, sadly, like I have to buy online um, because and it takes a while to ship. So it's, no, it's nothing that I can go and get immediately. So I'll try vlog it anyway and see if I end up like ordering them online or maybe they'll come back in store so I don't know but I'll keep you updated on that because I know some of you want to see how we decorate the space so this is kind of just what it looks like and yeah so I'm pretty happy with it it's definitely feeling a lot cozier now and I'm really liking this place more and more and I just can't see myself ever moving somewhere else like I know we used to live in Connecticut but I don't know how we dealt with those cold cold months like, I know I'm exaggerating but I mean I can't I mean I think 60 degrees is now cold so put it that way but yeah the sun is now peeking out so I'm gonna go see if Justin maybe wants to drive to the beach and we can just do a little walk and I'll show you guys where we normally go so yeah anyway <laughs> I'm gonna see if he's interested in that and I'll hopefully show you guys but it's so nice to be able to walk the beach and it not be cold <laughs> 